Hello. Today we are going to look at a new Chinese AI video generator called Ying AI at chatglm.cn slash language English. It's in beta mode and therefore not really that good yet, but let's take a look. It's free for now and it is hosted on this chat platform. Just click try it now to get signed up. Just like on Minimax, you need to fill in your phone number to get a SMS with a verification code. All countries are here, but it's easiest to just type in your LAN code and click it when it pops up. For me, it's Denmark plus 45. And then you fill in your phone number. Then you click the get verification code and you get the SMS. You have five minutes to activate it. And then just click log in. Now you enter the chat platform's main page, chat GLM. Funny name. Anyway, we want to make video, so down and select Ying AI Video Generator. And here you can see it's a beta access, and we have to keep that in mind in relation to evaluation. So there are some rules here in terms of ethics, including no pornography, so expect not suitable for work filters. Also, you must retain the watermarks on your videos, and it mentions both Ying AI and something named Qing Ying AI. So that's what you click agree to, and then you can enter. Then a small, quick review process starts which you just have to wait for and then the page will be ready. You don't have to do anything here other than wait a moment. Then we are ready and here you can create both text to video and image to video with upload and prompts. We will get back to that later. But we start with text to video. And let's use a similar prompt as what we checked Minimax with earlier. Woman bites into a burger at a restaurant. And now then we have some settings here. Style, cartoon, vintage, oil painting and cinematic. We'll go with none. Emotion. Varm, lively, intense, cold. Says we can set the atmosphere, and if not, it will adjust to the prompt. And then there's a camera setting. Horizontal, vertical, zoom in and out, and again, you can also just put that in your prompt. Okay, then we're all set with prompt and no settings. Then let's generate. Okay, the queue is three minutes, so I just fast forward here. Okay, nice burger, good colors, and good clarity. Does she bites it there? But what's with her chewing? Hmm, okay, that looks off. Look, that mouth is no good. It looks completely wrong. Looks like really bad quality. Besides, there is not a whole woman there, but only a small section as in a close-up, which I did not ask for. I see three fingers visible. But I think you can hold a burger like that with one hand with five fingers, so it's approved. The video is 1440 by 960 with 16 frames per second. And that's a fixed standard default that cannot be changed at this time. Okay, let's try again. Same prompt, but this time in cinematic style and with, say, emotion intense. And camera zoom in. So let's see what we get now, and I fast forward again. Right after I've checked this boost generation speed thing here. Yeah, what I thought so you can pay to skip the queue. I have no idea what it says, but it looks like 24 hours. And maybe that's one year. Don't know. Onward. Okay, so this is cinematic and intense. Well, not really my cup of tea. And the zoom in seems to be a zoom out instead. In this case, you could reverse the clip so it run backwards, then you'll have a zoom in. But that was not really the point. It's also a bit silly with the pot or bowl or whatever it is, right in the middle of the table which steals half of the picture. Otherwise, the clip might have been interesting. You get 6 seconds here, where other standards today are 10 seconds. That may be fine enough, but it may also mean that you have to make several more generations. So, I did a few more generations, this one is with warm emotion and zoom out. Might be a bit of teeth problem here I think, or it's the bun. Not sure. However, the picture quality and clearness is actually pretty good. Then I headed over to Kreia and generated some flux images with the same prompt. Uploaded one of the images and pasted in the same prompt again. And here we go, picture quality, okay, but again the mouth with chewing is really totally off. Yeah, well, I don't know, you'll be the judge of that. Then I also tried another square image in one-to-one -one aspect ratio to see if that would change the dimensions of the video, which it didn't. It just cropped the image at the top and bottom, so there was no point in that. But it did move the camera down to the bottom of the image, so the nice fries came into the picture. You might be able to make some interesting things that way. 
Just imagine what it might do with a high-resolution vertical image. Could be interesting. However, now I decide to try out image to video with the random prompt generator to see what that's all about. So deleting my prompt here, and then click on the random prompt thing. Well, I'm not going to go through all of them word by word, but it's all kinds of different ideas on what can be generate. I'll fast forward it here and then you can pause if you want to read them. But yeah, well, again, the face is too much off and weird. I'd say that this AI is not really ready for human faces yet, but that does not mean it's not good for anything. And I tell you what I mean with that now. Take these cherry picks from the main page. It's not all bad. Well, there is a bit here and there, and something is maybe a bit blurry, etc., etc. But depending on what you want to do, this generator can actually be okay. Remember, it's free. For example, like these animations where there are no real people involved, but just animated characters or cartoons. You can make something like this here for free, and it actually looks okay. There are more to watch, but you can look through them yourself. As always, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching and good night.